שלום, ברכתי הלאה, בעל שם יהו שי, בעל שם יהו קדש, all praises and glories definitely do, especially in the times we're living in. Much respect to the apostles and others, the great millstone, and to all the brothers out there doing the work, I say shalom. All right, um, we're going to do a breakdown here of uh, Habakkuk, chapter 2. And we're probably going to read from verse 1 down through 16. And, of course, we'll have plenty of precepts for you. And, again, it is through that precepts that I get understanding. You read that in Psalms 119, 104, all right? Okay, so, uh, you know, that's, you know, the pieces that you need for this puzzle. And, uh of putting this puzzle together so that you have a clear understanding, a clear picture of what you are reading, all right? You understand, all right? So you have clarity, understanding, all right? So that is how you build your case, your report, okay? And I believe that's talked about... Uh, what is that? Isaiah 53 and 1, I think. I believe that's talked about. Give me a minute. Yeah, this is Isaiah 53 and 1. Who have believed our report? Right? What is a report? These scriptures. Okay? It's truth, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Well, that's that's easy as well. Okay, Amos 3 and 7, I believe. Surely the Lord God Paul will do nothing but reveal it's his secret unto his servants, the prophets. See that? Do you understand? And that starts with the elders all the way on down to us. All right? Okay. All right. So uh, let's get back to uh, here, Habakkuk 2. And I'm in the blue letter because I want to look up some things. All right? Uh, I will stand on my watch. And set me upon the tower. All right. Now, that tower, that fortress that you're standing on, that is, you know, the Hawabashim, Yahawashai. All right. We go to uh, Psalms 91, all right. Give me a minute. All right, this is Psalms 91. And he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. What's that secret place? These scriptures, particularly what? The prophecies, All right? Verse 2, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God power in him will I Trust. See that? You understand? The name of the Lord is a strong tower. You understand that, people? All right? Give me a minute. Proverbs 18 and 10. Name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous. Who are the righteous? I would be uniquos, Latinos, and Native Americans to make up 12 tribes of Israel. All right? Particularly who? The elect. Runneth into it and is safe. There you go. All right. Let's get back. All right? And we'll watch. All right? So I will stand my watch. And again, that's what we are. All right? Watchmen. Let's uh, give you some precepts for that. Uh, all right, I will watch to see what he will say unto me, you know, the Lord, 
and what I shall answer when I am reproved, all right? But we are watchmen, all right, on the wall. So uh, let's give you some precepts for that. Uh, again, give me a minute. All right, let's go to uh, Isaiah 62, um, verse 6 and 7. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, all right? And these are the men that he has chosen from the others on down, all right? Oh, Jerusalem, and again, you are a people first before your place. So when it's saying, oh, Jerusalem, which is, Jerusalem is interchangeable with the word Zion and Israel. You understand, people? All right, talking about you Negro Latinos and Native Americans, which shall never hold their peace day or night. Again, so he's talking about who? The elect of Israelites, the prophets. And again, that's from the others all the way on down to us. And ye that make mention of the Lord, Yahweh, all right? Because we see Lord in all caps in the Hebrew text, right? In the Hebrew characters. That's what it would read out, Yahweh, all right? Where well, you see here the name of the Lord, all right? So they, you know, they keep not silence, right? We cry unto the Lord day and night. Again, we are consumed, you know, it, in these scriptures. You understand that? It consumes us. All right? And give him no rest till he establish, right? Establish what? The kingdom of heaven here on the earth. Yahweh Shai's kingdom. Until he make Jerusalem, all right, you Israelites, okay, you Negro Latinos and Americans, a praise in the earth, and that's what the Lord is doing, all right? That's, that, everything is a process. So he's raising the horn of his people, of us Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans, while he's taking Esau down, all right? It's all being done simultaneously, all right? It'll tell you what is that in uh, Psalms 50 and 21, you could start at verse 16 and read down to 21. When you get to verse 21, he'll tell you that he will set them in order, right? Right in Esau's face. He would set who in order? His elect of Israelites, okay? And that's why is what you see and have been seeing for so many years. You know, brothers uh, using the platform of YouTube, which is a tool, you know, to bring this word out, okay, and to go out there and street teach. You understand? All right. All right. Uh, let me give you another one, another precept to this. Uh, let's go to um, Ezekiel. Uh, Ezekiel 33, 6. All right. All right. But if a watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet and the people be not warned, so you see, pretty much set up like the Apostle Tar says, like weathermen. Okay? All right, so, and the people be not warned if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, all right, in his sin. But his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. You see that? All right, so we're set up to bring you what? To bring you the truth of the scriptures and to warn you, all right? But yet at the same time in doing that, you know, the the fallback, you know, and the flack, you know, and, and controversy mainly comes from our own people, two-thirds of our people, all right? You know, they're talking about that, you know, that uh, 
you know, we're coming with uh, with all these uh, horror stories. Well, they're not stories, all right? And the horror and the violence, I mean, the scriptures, you know, everything with the Lord is a balance, okay? You get the bitter and the sweet, and it seems all they want to hear about is the sweet, okay? But that's not how it works, okay? That's not how it works because that's not how the Lord works, okay? And again, when, uh, what is it, when uh, on the island of Patmos, John the Revelator, when the angel came on to him and he took the book, right? You know, what happened there? Hmm? What happened there? It was a sweet in his mouth when he took in the book, but by the time he finished eating the book, as Ezekiel, the third chapter says, you know, young man, take this roll, need it. All right, and then go teach on to the house of Israel. Well, you know, when he ate it, all right, give me a minute. All right, here's that scene with uh, found the revelator and the angel. And I went on to the angel and said unto him, give me the little book, little book of the scriptures. All right. And he said unto me, take it and eat it up, just like you read in Ezekiel, you know, the third chapter, you know, as uh, other apostle to heart is always quoting. All right. Okay. Eat up the roll. Take this roll and eat it. And that roll meaning the scriptures. Okay. And go out and teach unto the house of Israel. And that's whether they hear or forbear. All right. And it shall make thy belly. See, the scriptures will make thy belly bitter. But it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. See that? You understand that? And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. See? But again, you two-thirds of Israelites out there that mostly come against your own people who are set up to bring you this truth, again, for your own benefit, for your own, own salvation. All right? You don't seem to understand. You seem to want to believe that maybe guns will bring you salvation, trusting in Esau will bring you salvation, you know, all the things that have nothing to do with your salvation, okay? Nothing. Far from it, okay? Okay? Do you understand that, people? All right? Uh, what is that? Uh, Isaiah 33 and 6, Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. See that? Okay. And all weapons of warfare, you know, are not carnal, but mighty through our God power, Yahweh Bachim Yahweh to the pulling down of strongholds. And what is Esau's strongholds? Right? They're deceptions and lies. Okay? You understand that? All right? That's how you pull down, you know, Esau, Edom, this is how he's being destroyed. He's being destroyed by the word, which you read all throughout the scriptures, like you read in uh, Thessalonians, the second chapter. All right? Then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume, which means to devour, to destroy, with what? The spirit of his mouth. Who is the spirit of the Lord's mouth? The prophets. Luke 170 will tell you that. Okay? Got that, people? But what is it? The Word. It's the Word. The Spirit of His mouth. The testimony of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and the testimony of His Son, Yahweh Shai, the Mashiach. All right, we'll end this here. We'll be right back with uh, part two. Shalom.